What's going on guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. And we are at the 2024 PRI show, joined by Luke Wilson of Four Piston Racing. And this right here is a four piston K20C engine and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One and L-Ring DOS Original. Luke, great to see you again, man. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, how you been? Everything good? Great. How about yourself? Doing great. And uh, I'm doing great because we get to see cool stuff like this in your booth. Uh, you know, you guys have been doing this India Autonomous Challenge now for a couple of years, yeah. supplying engines for it. Uh, but tell the folks a little bit about you know, what this challenge is, what's all involved, and, and a little bit about the car we're looking at. Yeah, uh, so this is a Delara chassis. It's pretty much like an Indy Lights car. Uh, it does not have a driver. It uses programming. So it's a uh, LiDAR, radar, GPS, cameras, all kinds of different technology. And this car goes out and drives itself around a racetrack and they pass each other and they run at speeds. Uh, these cars have been over 190 miles per hour. Wow. So it, it's pretty intense and they run, they run fast. So they've run road courses, they've run ovals and it's just getting more and more competitive. Um, each car is owned by a team and they have engineers that have to send the car out on track and it has to make its own decisions. It's, it is not remote control. Right. So we were tasked with coming up with an engine design for the cars. Uh, we use the K20C. It's a power plant that we put into a lot of different applications, a lot of road race stuff. It's a direct injected turbo. So there's a lot of modern technology in it, good fuel efficiency, but also really good power. Yeah. Uh, awesome. And this engine in this car is the original engine from four years ago. It has thousands oh, wow. of race miles on it. Wow. At 500 horsepower, That's so they're cool. very reliable, yeah. and uh, it's a it's a good platform. Yeah, pretty neat technology. So Luke, I, I want to obviously we'll get more in the engine in a second, but I want to back you up just to the autonomous nature of these cars. Does does every team have to use the same parameters for like what's helping control it, or can people come up with some different things that that help it out on the track? They can come up with different strategies, um, and, and each team is responsible for their own programming. So. Okay. It's actually very proprietary, so I don't know much about it. I'm yeah. the engine. That, that's not your. Uh, I'm the engine guy. Area of expertise. But yeah, they come up with their own strategies, and uh, have to. That's that's the whole name of the game. It's just like having a. a they have to set up the car. They have to set up how it's going to pass, when it's going to apply power, when it's going to pit, how it warms the tires up. So there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, yeah. that's neat. It's pretty. That has a whole different component. And you guys are the engine supplier for, for all the cars involved in this. Yes, that's correct. Okay, very good. All right, so let's get more into the K20C that you mentioned. You know, why is that the platform that fits, you know, what, what they're doing with this car? It's just a, a good platform to start with. Honda makes a very good, robust engine. Uh, has a lot of good direct injection turbo technology. And we specialize in Honda, that's our thing. So uh, we take those engines and push them past what they were meant to do in your commuter car. And it just happens to be a really good motorsports engine. Honda's always uh, had a lot of their motorsports trickle down into their street cars. And, you know, we recognized that at a young age and that's why we gravitated to those. Um, when we were tasked with providing an engine for these, we knew what the speed goals were. We knew what they wanted to achieve and we knew the type of longevity they needed. So we wanted to go with a platform that was getting some of the RPM out of it. Turbo technology, it's the age of the turbocharger, okay? Right. So we have four cylinder cars that make 500 and 600 foot pounds of torque that you could drive every day. Yeah. Out of a two liter four cylinder, it's pretty crazy. Absolutely. We do have torque limitations with the drivetrain, so we have to manage all of that. We have RPM limitations with the clutches, uh, it's different. There's not a driver sitting in here. So it has a centrifugal clutch that engages okay. as RPM comes up. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, but we have to work within all those parameters. And we just, I think we did a really nice job in coming up with a package that's modern and also reliable so that they can go out and focus on programming and running the car and optimizing that rather than worrying about engine stuff. Yeah. So Absolutely. it's a turnkey, runs great. and. Uh, knock on wood, so far so good. Yeah, yeah. like you said, uh, these things have been running for four years and still still going strong. So 
So Luke, walk us through a little bit about what you guys do at Four Piston with this K20C engine in terms of some of the machine work and then some of the component choices inside. Yeah, uh, some depending on the power level, we make these from 380 to 950 horsepower. Okay. Um, this car is right at about 500 horsepower, and we do have a version that has much more horsepower with with this. That is a development in the development phases. Nice. Um, we we put iron sleeves in the blocks a lot of times, over 500 horsepower. Uh, we use stock crankshafts. The stock forged crankshafts are really good, but we do beef up pistons and rods to high high end materials. We use a 300M rod. Um, we use a piston that can take some abuse, take some heat and go run an hour on track at full load at 185 miles per hour. It has to be able to handle the heat and everything associated, all the loads associated with that. Um, cylinder head and valve train stuff is very important to us. So we have our own camshafts, a completely different fuel system. You know, a fuel system for these, the high pressure fuel pump system is designed for 300 horsepower. We're doubling the fuel flow. So we've had to redevelop fuel pump, injectors, uh, and do it all while being cost effective too. So uh, it's a whole package, top to bottom, it's a billet, dry sump, you know, that, that engine's a structural member of this chassis. Yeah, yeah, so, certainly looks like it, yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's developed top to bottom specifically for this car. That's awesome. And, and we have taken that and applied it into other chassis and other programs, uh, but this really was the catalyst for all of it. You know, this Indy Autonomous program was, was the vision for a lot of what's going on. That's super cool. Very cool. All right, so Luke, like we said, you know, the, the K20C engine's been in these cars for four years now. Uh, looking at the next year or two, do you envision anything changing engine-wise or anything needing to be uh, swapped out with what they're running? More horsepower and higher speeds. Okay. That's, yeah. the, that's racing. Just like anyone else, right? That's right. Whether there's a driver or not. Yeah, and, and this Indy Autonomous Challenge owns the records for the fastest uh, autonomous powered car in the world, and they want to go faster. Yeah. And it's all about getting the cars out there together, making decisions on their own for collision avoidance, picking the best lines on the track and making decisions. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna be doing this at over 200 miles per hour. Uh, it's really interesting to watch and it's very competitive, just like any type of motorsports with a driver. It's just as competitive. You're just doing it with, with program engineers. Yeah, it's super cool. And they've got a drive and the desire to, to win, yeah. you know, as well. Right. So it's, it's really good. Awesome. Well, Luke, yeah. we appreciate the time. It's always good to see you. And thanks for telling us about the, uh, the four piston K20C engine. Yeah, appreciate it. Guys, we appreciate all you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Luke and his team at Four Piston have going on. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.